please. Have your bags ready. At a Birmingham school, one class has been selected for an unannounced inspection right. for knives. Anything in your pockets onto the trays, please. At the Archbishop Ilsley Catholic School, they say this is all about deterrence and educating children about the risks. Your bag needs a bit of a clear out, doesn't it? They insist they don't have a knife problem here, but Britain does. John, that's not his real name, was 14 when he was found with a knife at his school in London. He says he had it because for weeks on his way home, he'd been targeted by thugs. We've revoiced his words. I got it from my kitchen. I wasn't planning to use it. It was more like if they came to me, I would like scare them with it so that hopefully they would run away or something. At the time, you feel like invincible because obviously a knife is something to be scared of. So if I had it, then people would be scared. Five News has learned that more than a thousand cases of knives found in school were reported to police forces in England, Scotland and Wales last year. These included machetes, hunting knives and even a modified highlighter pen whose nib had been replaced with a blade. In England and Wales, the number of such cases has more than doubled since 2014. The real figures for knives in schools are probably higher because not all cases, for instance that of John, are referred to the police. Schools don't have to do that. What you're trying to do as a school is find a solution for that child and their family circumstances, the neighbourhood they live in, um, the people they hang around with are all going to be factors and those aren't solved just with a phone call to the police. What? This scheme in Essex tries to keep school children away from gangs and knives. One of its founders remembers the day back when he was a teacher facing a very young pupil. I've seen this six-year-old um, carrying a knife. Um, he was threatening other staff members um, and saying that he was going to stab, stab them. Um, so I've gone over trying to calm this child down, where he's then verbally said that he's going to kill me and saying that he's going to stab me. John was permanently excluded, but is going back into a new school this term. He's certainly sorry for what he did, but still feels the school could have been more understanding. Obviously, there's no excuse, but they didn't give me a chance to explain. I didn't get to say anything. Before he found it, I remember the head teacher saying, remember, we don't need you here, but you need us. I wasn't allowed to speak or anything. Between a detector and the yellow line, if you could. Back at Archbishop Ilsley School, there's always a police officer present for these searches. That means if anything is found, it will be reported. We would always involve the police in an, in an issue like this. It's, it's quite simple for me as a head teacher that a child bringing a knife into school is not acceptable. Um, but what I would also say is that with any situation like that, um, we would never wash our hands of a child completely. We would always look at what can we used to do to support that child moving on in the future. So I think These children are definitely not in that category, but what do they think of the random searches? If it's for our safety, I think it's a good idea. It's um, at least if we're sure that everyone's, that like, no one has a knife and stuff, I think it's better. Yeah, I would say it's necessary because some kids these days would say that it might be cool to have a knife. It's making everyone more, like, safe and, like, because people can worry that people might be bringing knives and they might feel threatened. Mm -hmm. So, like, you're having them checks is making everyone feel more comfortable coming to school. Good girl, thank you, Liz.